How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Truth be told, I had a grand scheme in my head. Um, we were gonna head out this afternoon to get some fish for ceviche. I was craving ceviche this morning. Um, woke up, it was literally crystal blue skies, flat calm, sunny. Um, so I figured I'd get my work done in the office and uh, we'd go out on the boat and spend the afternoon in the sunshine. And right around four o'clock when I got done with all my stuff, big old rain cloud moved in and uh, started raining a little bit, but I'm not gonna let it rain on my parade. I'm gonna go regardless. And I'm, I'm letting gonna... it rain on my parade. <laughs> huh? I'm letting it rain on my parade. You're letting it rain on your parade? <laughs> I'm not gonna let it rain on my parade, so I'm gonna go out. I made everything I needed for ceviche, and the smell is so delightful. Oh, now I just have to have it, so I figured I'd bring you along with me. Got the diving gear. Um, yeah, let's rock and roll. Because time is of the essence, it's six o'clock. We got about maybe two hours of light left. I'm not gonna do much exploring. I'm gonna go somewhere where I know there's fish. Um, I'm gonna use a different gun this time. I can't remember if I've actually used this. This is the first spear gun I ever built. It's um, quite ugly actually, but it is useful in this shallow water stuff. Sometimes I forget I have the thing. It's a 36 inch true mid handle, all Neptonics hardware. This is the first gun I ever built. It's, I think it's like 12 years old. But it's really good for close quarters under the mangroves because the handle's farther forward. I can load it and kind of tuck it right here and almost shoot from the hip. Um, and I forgot that it has a GoPro mount on it, so I'm going to try that again. Uh, see if we can get some better angles. But it doesn't look like we have a lot of time, so I'm going to get suited up and get in the water.
it appears this was not the proper choice. Um, great little spot. There's tons of fish. They're just super duper squirmy today. And the water's kind of murky. So I think I've got maybe enough time for one more. So go give it a look. This is a spot Madeline and I found a couple weeks ago. I haven't been back, so hopefully we have some better luck. So the first spot was um, a bust, for lack of a better word. So I went back over to this area. I just recently posted a video about this. Madeline and I were over here, and there was more snappers than you could ever dream of. So I decided to come back. I think it had been, realistically, if I go back and look at that video, that video is probably a month old now. And right when I pull up, there's snappers all over the place, and I'm lining up on one I had in mind, and quite honestly, he just ninja'd me. I went down and slowed that clip, or went back and slowed that clip down, and right as I pulled the trigger, he turned left and sailed right past him. But you'll notice right here, so I shot, um, and I'm slowly kicking away from that area, that shoreline. While I'm reloading, I don't want to be sitting in that spot because I know there's fish there. I don't want to sit in that area and sit there and stir that up and just spook the fish more and more. So I swam about 10, 12 feet out away from the shore uh, just while I'm reloading. So when I go back over there, hopefully the fish are a little more comfortable. I didn't stir up the bottom. Um, just something that I noticed as I'm watching this back. I, did, I do it subconsciously, but that is why I do that. So a lot of times with these mangroves, I'll just kind of sit and wait, um, move real slow instead of chasing them. I'm pretty sure what they do is they zip up and down this shoreline looking for obviously food of some sort. Um, so a lot of times if you sit and wait long enough, they'll come to you. And you can see those came back in to check me out and got me a nice shot on one. The only tricky part about hunting this shallow is it is darn near impossible not to stir up the bottom. Brain and bleed as always. And again, you'll notice I grab my shaft, the fish, everything, the gun, get away from that shoreline. I know that's kind of the area where there are fish, so I just kind of want to stay away from that area and spook the fish as little as possible. So this angle, I don't know, it's kind of strange looking, but I think it works pretty good for the shallow stuff, so, um, I mean, when I'm in the shallows, it's hard to keep my mask under the water, so maybe I'll start using this tactic more. It's kind of a cool perspective to me. You can see a nice big one just kind of surprises me there. Luckily, I was ready for the shot. This one had a little more size on it. And I, after I had these two, I saw quite a few more um, decent ones. But realistically, I only, I only needed the two. But you know how it is. You still want to kind of poke around and see what else is out there. So. After this, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and just kind of let you guys enjoy the scenery. Thank you. 
So this next clip coming up, you're going to hear some strange sounds. Almost sounds like a pig dying or a, maybe something from the predator, but... As I got on the other side of the island and up under the mangroves, I realized that there was a bunch of nests for baby cormorants. Um, if you don't know what a cormorant is, it's a little black bird, almost looks kind of like a duck, but it's actually able to swim underwater and hold its breath and hunt for fish, and it can also fly. Um, the camera didn't pick it up, but I was able to get an eye on them, and it was uh, pretty cool to see. There was a bunch of nests with some babies there. This is a cool spot. Forgot my little carabiner. I clip my fish on, so a lot of times I just stuff them in a the suit. Oh. That snapper went a little higher than I had intended. So many, so many snapper here. It's just what a crazy, crazy spot. I'm in waist deep of water. That's a nice one. I saw a couple big ones like this. Okay, 13 inches. Quite frankly, that's all I need for ceviche. I was gonna, I was gonna make it out here, but. To be honest, I forgot the fillet knife and the cutting board. Aha. Uh -huh. So truth be told, I got in last night kind of late. The bugs were so bad, I put the fish on ice. Um, and we were gonna go out this evening and fillet a snapper and have ceviche on the paddle boards and watch sunset. And we got all the way out there and I realized I forgot the knife, so. We're going to do it in the backyard, that's okay.
Come on. Get him on the paddleboard. Come on, Tina. Give me a piece of fish. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that'll get him over here. <laughs> here, give me a little piece. The bad news is that the bugs are going to win again. Tina, come on, Kiki, Kiki. Come on. You the fish? Yeah, it's already pretty buggy. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I just did a real simple ceviche. It's, it looks orange, but it's actually a yellow pepper for some reason. It's pretty orange. Yellow bell pepper, red onion, cilantro, salt pepper. That is it. The bugs are going to win this battle. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy this on the balcony. I like how you diced up the bell peppers really small. Yeah, I like them. I like them small. Mm -mm. Dang it, I did the head bob. The head bob. <laughs> I love ceviche. So good. And I know there's a ton of different ways to do this. This one, which is a quick one that I threw together. Normally I put up a bunch more stuff in there, but. <clears throat> Simple as. Fresh and delicious. Mm. But that is all we've got. I did want to say real quick, I really do appreciate genuinely all the comments and support you guys have left. I get a lot of comments saying stuff like, thanks so much for making these videos. It really helps me out, gets me through the day. Uh, what you guys don't realize is you guys are helping me out a lot because you make me more appreciative of what I have. I've got a beautiful fiance. I live in paradise. I literally get to do exactly what it is for a living. And sometimes I think we get a little complacent no matter what it is that we're doing. We get caught up. We do the same thing over and over so you forget how good you got it. But genuinely, thank you for reminding me that daily. Uh, I'm grateful for that. So other than that, see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.